A Little Rock father-son duo is one of thousands suing stock trading company Robinhood. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight for KRK4 News at 10. I'm Hunter Hoagland. The pair says the company stopped all trades and now they're out thousands of dollars. Our Katrin Asaf is live in the studio with why the family is taking a stand and what they hope to accomplish. Katrin. Yeah, Hunter, that's right. This is what the Nokia stock looked like in the last week of January. Both Kevin Kelly and his son, Zach, bought shares in this company. Now, they invested well before this peak here, but you can see what happened on Thursday when that stock was halted. Now, this trend is seen in other stocks such as GameStop and AMC when buying and selling was halted and stopped, a move that cost the Kellys a combined total of nearly $17,000. Now, they're taking a stand in federal court. Losing is a rare occurrence for coach Kevin Kelly. His team at Pulaski Academy has a 13 and 0 record. But off the field, Kelly recently had a major loss. I've been trading stocks and options for about 20 years. Kelly and his son, Zach, had bought shares in stocks skyrocketing in price, like Nokia and GameStop. But before they could profit, it all came crashing down. We did some stock and some options on four or five different stocks that later became halted. The Kellys say popular brokerage apps like Robinhood illegally halted trading to protect hedge funds. Now the father and son duo are suing. This is right and wrong. It was wrong what they did. Zach explains it like a football game with the running back yards away from a touchdown. He returns a kickoff. He's past the defense. He's past everybody. He's on the 40 yard line. He's about to score a touchdown. And the ref said, no, 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 no. We're going to pause right here. The Kellys say while the game is in timeout or trading is halted, no one is able to sell or buy and the cost of the stock plummets. The next thing you know, when everything opened back up, it was pretty much worthless. For Zach and Kevin, this meant losing out on almost $17,000, a blow they're hoping someone answers for. Whoever was the one to make the decision to do this, I hope they're held accountable. And if this suit helps do that, then I'm more than happy to be a part of it. Now, the Kellys say they understand they may never get their money back. Part of their lawsuit alleges that Robin Hood violated the Sherman Antitrust Act. Since 1890, that act has outlawed business monopolies. Reporting in studio, I'm Katrin Asaf.